Beyond the scores and statistics, sports are full of stories about athletes who overcame obstacles and defied the odds to achieve success. Fans enjoy cheering for the underdog who through hard work and perseverance wins because we identify with that athlete or team. Bronco Planet, a Denver Bronco website, tells us that Tyrone Braxton fits that mold to a T as a legendary player who was told that he was too short, too light, and too slow to compete on the football field. Barriers to achievement are not just physical though, as success can also be stymied because of one's social economic circumstances. Growing up on Madison's south side in the mid-1960s, Tyrone found the neighborhood lifestyle challenging. He has said that he grew up where people were selling drugs, doing drugs, breaking into houses, and not getting up and going to work every day. What you see is what you learn and what you do as a child. Luckily, Tyrone had his mother, Beatrice Chapman, as his initial role model. As a single parent, she raised him and siblings Amici, Charlene, Demetra, and Don, while working two jobs to support the family. The value of hard work and the importance of family were emphasized. Exposure to athletics also gave Tyrone an early taste of success. At Longfellow Elementary in gym class, he fondly remembers playing volleyball against the whole class and winning the match. He watched his first football game, the 1972 Super Bowl, and the undefeated Miami Dolphins with his stepfather. Tyrone believes that is when he became hooked on football. His participation in organized sports began as one of only three sixth graders playing for the renowned Southside Raiders and coach Will Boyd Smith, an early mentor. His emphasis on commitment to practice, a strong work ethic, and to teamwork affected Tyrone greatly. Will would always say, don't let anyone outwork you. Braxton bought into his coach's philosophy working very hard on and off the field to be the best athlete he could be. At Madison Memorial, Tyrone struggled early on with issues that threatened to derail his athletic career. But another mentor refocused him. He credits head football coach Wally Shesso with guiding him back to the right path. As a senior, Braxton was first team all city and all conference as a defensive back in football first team all city as a guard in basketball and city outdoor long jump and triple jump champion. Coach Shesso also stressed the importance of higher education and how athletic participation helped individuals go on to college. Tyrone thanks Wally for helping many generations of high school athletes like him who otherwise would not go to college and get a degree. Because of the coach's guidance, he wanted to help other people and make their lives better. Braxton went to North Dakota State to study physical education and play football and run track. As a two-year starter for the Bisons, he played on three Division II NCAA championship teams and one national runner-up club. In the 1985 game, he ran back the opening kickoff for a 73-yard touchdown. And in 1986, he sealed the game with an 84-yard punt return for a touchdown. His senior year, Tyrone earned recognition as a first-team North Central Conference cornerback. Searching the Bison record books, his name appears near the top on numerous defensive, kickoff, and punt return categories. And he still has the best career kickoff return average. Braxton was a standout conference long and triple jumper and 400 meter relay team member for North Dakota as well. In 1987, he was the conference long jump and triple jump runner up and was a member of the championship 400 meter relay team. His greatest athletic success was yet to come, even though the road began with his inauspicious draft by the Denver Broncos as the 334th pick before Mr. Irrelevant, the last pick. Why? Because he was 5'11", 185 pounds with average speed for a cornerback. Teammates gave him the nickname Chicken 
because of his scrawny legs. Tyrone persevered, however, in the face of adversity. During his injury plague rookie season in the NFL, he only played in two games on special teams. He had a breakout season in year three as the starting left cornerback. On the very first pass play of his initial start, he made an interception and ran it back 34 yards for a touchdown. A distinguished career had begun. During his 13 years in the NFL, 12 with the Denver Broncos and one with the Miami Dolphins, Braxton played on four AFC championship teams and two Super Bowl championship teams. During Super Bowl 32, he recorded a key interception of Brett Favre to help the Broncos win the game. As a safety and cornerback, he had 748 tackles, 36 interceptions, and 10 fumble recoveries, and was selected to the Pro Bowl in 1996 when he was tied for the most interceptions in the league with nine. Transitioning from a professional athletic career can be difficult, and Tyrone found that out when he retired in 1999. He struggled with what he was going to do with his life and with personal demons until the Denver legal system and some tough love from his family, wife Elizabeth and children Chloe and TJ, helped guide him once again back to the right path. Braxton thought, I had to reflect and look into myself to figure out who I was. What kind of legacy would I leave? He remembered a letter he wrote to his mother as a college freshman, promising her to finish his degree. So Tyrone went back to school to an environment scarier than any Super Bowl. Braxton finished his degree with the help of online courses and in 2014 earned a Master's of Social Work from Metropolitan State University in Denver. Today, Tyrone is a case manager for the Mental Health Center in Denver, working with an innovative program, Recovery Court, which is designed to help some of the most troubled offenders to reduce their rearrests, drug use, and possible return to jail. He's an active member and board of director of the Bronco Alumni Association, which involves the team and its former members in community charitable activities. Tyrone views his induction as a tremendous honor and privilege. His induction reiterates for him the importance of setting goals and working hard to achieve those goals. In his case, he has achieved much more than he ever dreamed of. The Madison Sports Hall of Fame Club and Strand Associates Incorporated are honored to welcome Tyrone Scott Braxton into the class of 2016.